the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Mr. Jakaya Morisho Kikwete, the members of the ICCF, honorable members of Congress, U.S. Congress, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you very much, Ambassador Green, for that kind introduction, but also thank the ICCF for inviting me to this gala evening. Allow me to express appreciation to the ICCF, its members and partners, especially African countries, for their outstanding contribution to the conservation of vital natural resources, a serious challenge for our sustainable development. The theme of this gala, Conservation in Africa, Security, Democracy and Development, bears a special significance to us in Africa as it coincides with the commemoration of our 50th anniversary of the founding of the Organization of African Unity and now the African Union. <clears throat> At the founding of the OEU in May 1963, the founders clearly articulated the vision of the organization to unite Africa and achieve decolonization and the demise of apartheid. By and large, the two objectives have been achieved. But African leaders soon realized that they weren't still making no serious progress on the integration and prosperity front. They therefore decided to transform the OEU into the AU, whose main objective is to work towards a united, integrated, and prosperous Africa at peace with itself, driven by its own people and representing a dynamic force in global affairs. This is the core vision of, the, of our agenda 2063, when those who will be alive when we celebrate the 100 years of the OEU, we hope they can describe Africa then as prosperous and at peace with itself. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa is renowned for its outstanding natural diversity. We have famous attractions like Mount Kilimanjaro, Table Mountain, the Big Five, and other less known natural settings across the continent. We have mega diversity of our flora and fauna, and we have lots of species from endangered species to spectacular waterfalls, Africa is indeed a beautiful continent, certainly the most beautiful one, at least to me. And it's not just the beauty of the landscape, but it's the people and the animals that live on it. At the same time, Africa is becoming an attractive pole for economic growth the home to seven of the fastest growing economies in the world and to a rising global population, the majority of whom by 2040 will be young and African. What is indeed therefore, what is needed therefore is to ensure the right balance between the preservation and conservation of our ecosystem and the sustainable use by our and future generations. This is the AU's position on conservation. Our challenge in the next 50 years is how to sustain, manage our abundant natural resources, including our vast, vastly unused arable land, forests, waters, and marine resources, to transform our economies, sustain our rising economic growth, to create job opportunities for the large young population, and to help them realize their aspiration for a better life. A win-win partnership 
is therefore required to promote sustainable and through job creation, energy production and use, and infrastructure development. Just think of it. Good roads, safe transportation, give more than mere access to interesting conservation areas or sites and the development of ecosystems. They enable governments to extend their presence to ensure security in every part of the country and deliver social services in otherwise remote parts of the territory. So conservation, development, energy, infrastructure are all part of one system that we create a better life that will ensure security and of course will also expand the democratic dispensations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great honor and pleasure to introduce to you one of your own, a person who is very known in the United States, strongest champions of the U.S.-Africa Strategic Partnership, the Honorable Congressman Eddie Royce. Congressman Royce's distinguished career is known to all of you. Thanks to his strong leadership and commitment to the U.S. Congress has passed several legislative initiatives and numerous resolutions that promote and strengthen U.S.-Africa relations. The most recent one has been on partnering with African countries to develop energy solutions to derive economic growth and support poverty eradication. Chairman Royce has actively encouraged sustainable resource management as a path to prosperity and self-reliance in many countries in Africa. He led efforts in Congress to authorize the Congo Basin Forest Partnership, which includes 11 African countries, to help conserve an area unsurpassed in its ecological value and natural beauty and on which 75 million people directly depend for their food, medicine, water, and shelter. Chairperson Royce, with his colleagues, and in a bipartisan manner, was a driving force behind the African Growth and Opportunity Act, the centerpiece of the U.S. trade policy towards Africa, Indeed, I look forward to working with you and the colleagues in Congress and U.S. administration to further the goals of AGOA and other mutually beneficial relations between the U.S. and Africa, including um, conservation. I now have the honor, Chairman Eddie Royce, to present to you the Teddy Roosevelt International Cooperation Award in recognition for your long-standing commitment to Africa and the partnership between Africa and the U.S. Thank you.